Good afternoon, Jason Shepard here with the Anchor Room. Today we're going to use the tools shown in front of you. From left to right we have the bottle of water. To the right of that we have the application fluid which is nothing more than one to two milliliters of baby shampoo to 32 ounces of water also. We have a felt tip squeegee and we're also showing a yellow flex squeegee. Um, preference may be yours. I prefer the one on the right which is the yellow flex. Uh, felt tip will do just as good of a job. Um, and then last but not least below that is the microfiber towel which we will use to remove any excess liquid and finish the installation. Alright, let's get started. Okay, here we are looking at the front end of this 2018 Mustang. One of the new lenses in this car was obviously the front side marker. Um, we're going to show you the installation for that. Um, as you can probably tell, the actual tint is slightly larger than the actual lens itself. The intent is here that we tuck underneath behind bu bumper panels on the left right and top side um, when we install this piece. Okay, we've removed the vinyl tint piece from the backing paper. We're going to spray it heavily with our application fluid. We're going to do so on the lens as well. Application fluid obviously has soap in it, which is what gives us the opportunity and ability to put it behind the bumper panel. Um, as you can tell, it slides right back there. You will have to pay attention to um, the top, the left, and right hand side. In, to make, in order to make sure everything fits. Once you have all of the sides of the um, lens covered, as you can tell it's giving me a little bit of pushback on this end. There we go. I had to just slide it back there. Again, making sure that the left, top, and right are covered, which they are completely now. Now we can use our water. And what our water is going to do, it's actually uh, just going to simply remove the um, excess soap and once we remove the soap obviously the lens will no longer move there we go that should be sufficient and at that point we can just use our squeegee and our squeegee we're going to use all of remove all of the excess liquid and once we have that in place and I don't think I mentioned this initially but we're going to just use our heat gun to tape at the bottom edges. It's not an absolute necessity as it will stick without, but a heat gun always will, you know, finalize that insulation and make it look absolutely perfect. Like I said, in this case, just using the heat gun and the towel to uh, get rid of that excess moisture and to tape at that bottom edge. Um, as you can tell, as soon as you move that heat gun in place, just use your thumb and. Uh, Kind of just roll it to the bottom end of that lip. And this is a pretty straightforward piece to be truly honest with you. It's fairly flat, so fingers are not going to be a huge issue. You might have a couple pop up here and there, but overall it, um, it's pretty forgiving because like I said, it is flat. Um, just going around this bend. Might give you one finger, but remember, always split it in half, and um, you'll be done in no time. All right, and of course, through the magic of time and video editing, um, we didn't want to take up all that excess time. But uh, we just finished this up over here, and um, as you can tell, it's a nice, clean installation, optically clear because we are using that baby shampoo, and um, your car looks so much nicer with it. Thanks for your time and for your purchase. Have a great day.